So today I want to talk about the ARC Innovation ETF. Um, there's been a lot of debate about the ARC Innovation ETF run by Kathy Wood. It went up a huge amount in the beginning of 2020 as people were investing more and more into uh, environmentally friendly stocks and uh, companies that innovate a lot, um, trying to focus on growth stocks, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It's kind of a high risk portfolio, but it went up a lot in 2020 and then it went down a lot in the past year. It lost everything it gained in 2020 in the past year. Um, and so it makes you wonder if the ARK Innovation Fund was a flash in the pan or what. Uh, there's a lot to think about when it comes to this stuff. Uh, the um, uh, it's it's kind of debatable, right? Because I think what Kathy Wood is doing, she's doing good work and in investing in envi environmentally friendly companies and all that stuff, and companies trying to uh, make the world move forward. One problem with her portfolio is it doesn't focus on like dividend stocks, it doesn't focus on value stocks, and what um. What's his name? Uh, Warren Buffett made famous was value-based investing, was buying stocks that are very profitable, make a lot of dividends, and not necessarily grow a ton, but but uh, just are very profitable. And I mean, they could be growth companies, but they're they're more about uh, stability. Like um, what Warren Buffett always talked about was investing in companies that are based on stabil stability. Um, whereas what Kathy Wood talks about is, or what she's her Arc Innovation Fund is made famous is about investing in um, companies that uh, are risky. She's talking about risky investments in companies that are very supposedly innovative. Companies like uh, the CRISPR DNA thing that they want to we were trying to research into how, how can you make your DNA more uh, how can you avoid various diseases by research into your DNA? It's, it's invest in Tesla, which is about, um, you know, environmentally friendly electric vehicles and self-driving cars, which in theory could be very innovative. The problem with self-driving cars is the, I think the internet speed isn't good enough to have a self-driving car. It's not that the companies are doing anything wrong per se. It's just that the internet speed isn't fast enough. I don't even think five... I don't even think 5G is fast enough to have a self-driving car because 5G is not even really faster than 4G. Um, now with today's technology, maybe at some point 5G could be good enough for that, but right now the technology is not good enough for self-driving cars. So that's the problem with uh, innovation type fund is there's a lot of companies that are absolutely going to fail and you know she's the Ark Innovation Fund is like invested in like crypto stuff like Coinbase and stuff. You know, a lot of crypto is a scam, and, and and I don't mean that entirely. I don't mean it's totally a scam. I mean it's like mostly a scam, mostly a scam. There are parts of crypto that are going to be very successful, and there are parts of that world that are going to do very well. But a lot of crypto is a scam, and to be invested in companies that are built around crypto, that seems kind of foolish. It seems kind of foolish to be in the crypto space, um, to be invested in NFTs. I don't. Maybe I think NFTs will be a big thing 10, 20, 30 years from now, but I don't think they're going to be big anytime soon. I think there's going to be waves with crypto and there's, it's in some ways it's the future of the internet, but we don't know what it is. We don't know what crypto even means. Yeah, there's things you can do with crypto, but it's it doesn't make any sense right now. A lot of it's like a gold rush and a lot of the gold miners aren't going to make any money. So the ARC, I feel like the ARC, uh, innovation fund are like investing in a lot of weird things like CRISPR technology is really weird. Tesla is a weird company and that's the number one thing they're investing in is Tesla. That's a weird company run by a weird CEO, which could totally fail if Ford GM could keep catch up to where what Tesla's doing from from a quality and output perspective. You know, Tesla could bite the dust at some point. Um, so I don't know what the future of ARC Innovation Fund is. I couldn't tell you that. Uh, I do know that um, Everyone wants to be invested in growth companies, but the question is which companies are growth companies, which companies are value companies, which companies are going to be here in 50 years, and which companies are going to totally fail. And that's an open question. A lot, a lot of these companies aren't going anywhere. You know, you, it, it's kind of like a lot of foolish investments, and there's a lot of debate around the ARK Innovation Fund. So if I title this video ARK Innovation Fund, buy or sell, the answer is I don't know. 
I don't know if it's a buy or sell because it's it's confusing to me. And and I like the idea of environmentally friendly companies like Tesla, but I don't know what that really means in the long term. I don't really know what Tesla companies like Tesla mean in the long run because I would have said it wouldn't make any sense ten years ago. But today, I mean, it's doing okay, but it could it's on the trajectory downward as inflation. And Kathy Whittle say it's just inflation that's causing all these problems. Well, maybe it is just inflation, but you don't know that. You don't know if it's just inflation or if she's just invested in really bad companies that are failing right now for whatever reason. Um, though it did really well two years ago, but the world changes. And you don't know how bad the inflation is going to be. Is inflation the actual reason for the fund failing or did she pick bad companies? I don't know the answer to that. These are questions up for debate that I'm just I'm, I'm, I'm just talking about anyways. Let me know in the comments below. What do you think of the ARK Innovation Fund ETF? Please subscribe to this channel to be part of the community. And please like this video. It really helps the channel out a lot. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.